This is video 6, I had to set up a OpenVPN uh, a server and a client. The difference between OpenVPN and PPTP VPN as discussed in, in video 5 is that OpenVPN in theory should be quicker when you're trying to access stuff on your home network but just to, due to the way that the information is routed. It is, how, it is however more complicated to set up and it's also the reason why the video has been split, video 6 has been split up into two parts. So part, of part one of video six is talks about how to install DDWRT on your router. And this includes important information about making sure your router memory is big enough to run VPN as a server. And we also talk about how to create security certificates. These are the encryption keys required to be running when you set up an open VPN style server. Part two of the video talks about how to uh, set up an OpenVPN client on a single PC and also how to set up an OpenVPN client network so you can connect your PC, TV, Wi-Fi devices to it using a DDWRT router as a client. So you need to set the server up first in video one in order to be able to set up the clients in video, uh, video part two. So we want to set up the client now, and this first setup is assuming that the client is using a PC. So we need to go back to the OpenVPN website, as shown at the top of the screen, click on Downloads, and click on Windows Installer, and then install the version of um, that's most appropriate to you. In my case, it's Windows 64-bit. Um, you need to tick all the boxes and install the uh, OpenVPN client on the client machine. So what we want to do here is copy the client OpenVPN configuration which can be found in the C drive on the program files directory in the OpenVPN directory in the sample configuration and we want to copy and paste it into a, a directory called program files OpenVPN config and we also need to copy and paste all of the security certificates that we created on in video part in the video 6 part 1 so this is the CA certificate, the client one certificate and the client one key. We then need to right click on the um, directory, the, the file we just copied and rename it and I've created two copies called one called OpenVPN redirect web traffic and one called OpenVPN does not redirect web traffic. So we now need to go in and edit that file. So we right click on one of the files and click on edit and this will open that file up into uh, um, notebook. So the first line is basically where your remote server is. So in this case, you type in remote 111.111.111, which is the IP address for your server. So we'll just talk about that in a minute about how do you find out the IP address of your server. Equally though, if you happen to have a DYDNS set up, then you can put in that instead. And so you just fill in the information instead, and that means that you always go through to your server successfully. The rest of the information is as on screen, and I will put it in the description notes at the bottom of this um, video. So how do you know the, your external IP address? Well, that's simple. If you go to an IP uh, if you do type into Google what is my IP address or you go to a website like ipchicken.com it will tell you the IP ad your IP address. In this example we've just made it all triple ones to keep it simple. Right, let's try and connect to the server using the PC. So the first thing you need to do is go, and go to the OpenVPN directory and right click on OpenVPN GUI and then run it as administrator. If you do not run the OpenVPN GUI as an administrator, it will not work. You'll find in the top, in your bottom corner of your screen that you'll have a new icon running called OpenVPN GUI. As shown there, two, 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 two computer monitors with a world in front of it. You then right click on that world, click on connect, and click on OpenVPN does not redirect web traffic. It'll then connect to the OpenVPN 
client and you should get these with the following information on the screen. So the, the does not redirect web traffic. This system is set up as shown us here. Once you're successfully connected, um, you'll, you'll notice that you have signed an IP address, and we've, in this case we've been assigned an IP address of 192.168.66.2. That means that now you can access anything on your server router. And depending on which file you open, whether you chose to open the redirect traffic or does not redirect traffic, will depend on whether you can access the internet through your server or not. So if you wish to uh, redirect your web traffic through your server, this will give the impression that you're in the location that your server's at. So that means when you log in as a client, if you're in, for example, uh, France and your server is in the US, this will redirect all your web traffic from France to the US into your server and out again back onto the internet. So all we have to do to do, to do that is just take out the, the hashtag in front of the redirect gateway DEF1 in the configuration file and just click save and then we just need to connect to the VPN client using this file. So we do that quite simply by um, right-clicking on the um, VPN logo in the um, toolbar feature at the bottom right-hand side of the screen. Click on Open VPN Redirect Web Traffic and then clicking on Connect. You would then go through to the connection screens here. And this is just a piece of general advice. Um, basically, if um, you are trying to connect to your server, using the VPN client on a PC, for example, as shown here, and you don't get successful um, connections, um, as pretty much indicated on the screen, then you will have connection issues. So your VPN may work, it may partially work, but it won't be working correctly if it, if it comes up with error messages. So what you're looking for is a clean connection, and this as you can see on the screen, it is a clean connection. It says it succeeded. If you do get error messages coming up, then I suggest you just Google the error messages. And usually someone has written a little bit about what may be wrong when you when you get those error messages. So that concludes the setting up the OpenVPN client on a single PC. Um, the biggest issue I had was the computer uh, had issues with the IP addresses keep on changing from 192.168.54.1 to 192.168.60.1 and 192.168.1.1. The computer got confused. So um, I found that I went on the internet to look up the um, issue I was looking at and I found that if I went into the command prompt and uh, ran it as an administrator, what we did on the video 6 part 1, um, and then I put in the two commands here about NETSH and ran those and then rebooted the computer trying to connect to the VPN, it reset all of the configuration issues. So that is the end of setting up the single PC um, as a client. We'll now proceed to set up a DDWRT router uh, to, to run as the open VPN client. If you wish to set up a VPN client on a DDWRT router, then you what you do is you set up your router as normal, you go to services, then VPN, go to open VPN client, click on enable, and you need to fill in the following information. So the server IP name is again 11.11.11.11. You go to your port 1194, which is the default, tunnel devices, tunnel, tunnel protocols, UDP, and all the other information on the screen. If you wish to redirect the traffic, then the additional config is redirect dash gateway DFL DF1. You need to copy and paste your CA certificates in, your Client 1 certificate in, and your Client 1 key documents. 
Remember to keep all the dashes before the begin certificate and all the dashes after the end certificate. You then need to save your settings by clicking on save and then you proceed to click on the administration tab, management and reboot, reboot the router. So you now want to check to see if you're successfully connecting your client's router running DDWRT to the client so sorry to the uh, OpenVPN server. So the easiest way to do this is simply with our computer attached to the uh, client router, you type in your um, IP address of the server. So hopefully you're connected and therefore you should be able to click on 192.168.66.1 which is the OpenVPN network that we set up in video 6 part 1. So hopefully you've now set up your uh, DDWRRT uh, client router successfully. Uh, you may find you have a, a similar issue with your computer getting confused because the IP addresses keep on changing. Um, again, use the NETSH commands um, in, using in the DOS prompt. Remember to run the DOS as a, uh, an administrator, just as we did in video 6 part 1. With your successfully set up network, when your computer 2, in this case, I'll just go on the screen, where, which is the client computer, wishes to access the hard disk, hard disk for example, which is connected to your uh, server router, it will now be able to just send that request uh, via the modem router, via the internet. Uh, so number two and number three there, that's fully encrypted because that is what we've set up the OpenVPN client to be, is encrypted. The, uh, the router at the uh, server end will unencrypt the uh, information, request the hard disk provide the uh, information required. So that's number four. The hard disk comes back with the information number five. The router re-encrypts the data which then puts it through the internet, number six and seven. And then the router then takes it back to the PC, uh, decrypted number eight. Equally, if you have set up your uh, computer, sorry, router to um, siphon all internet access through your your home server, then when your client connects to the network, accesses the internet, or wants to go to a specific the specific website, it will send the information to the router, modem router, number one. The, the router then encrypts the data and sends it via the internet to the server, which is number two and number three. The modem router then sends that information out back to the internet, number four. So this then gives the impression to the, the websites that you're accessing on the internet that you are at the server's location, not the client's location. The information comes back from the intent number five, and then the router then re sends all the information back to client two via the internet and via encryption, which is six, seven, and eight. So, if you wish to compare this to the uh, penultimate uh, slide of uh, video five, you'll see that there's less routing of data. If you look at video 5, the last couple of minutes of that video, then you'll see that the information doesn't need to go to a PC. And therefore, in theory, this setup is quicker than a PPTP uh, VPN, which is what we set up on the video 5. Okay, so if you didn't redirect the traffic through the, um, the server, VPN, open VPN server, then basically you access the internet as normal. So um, number one, number two is you access the internet, the information coming back is via number three and number four. And because you are accessing the internet and not accessing your hard disks then uh, on the server, then although they are still connected to the internet and via the VPN, there's no information being transferred between them. So that concludes uh, video six, part two. Uh, we've now successfully set up a uh, VPN client on a single PC and we've also set up a OpenVPN client network 
uh, on a DDWRT router so that PCs, smart TVs, other Wi-Fi devices can connect to your server via a client DDWRT router. I uh, hope this, this video is useful to you. Uh, you'll find that um, setting up an OpenVPN client is very complicated, it's very frustrating. I'm hoping this video makes it easier to understand and I apologize for the uh, poor sound quality on some of the video um, slides. As with all the videos, the um, actual um, text when you've actually got a program code in, uh, I've put at the bottom in the description so that you can just cut and paste. The Any other information, then you can get that from the um, wiki page of the uh, DDWRT website or you can simply Google it and uh, hopefully you'll find the information you're looking for. Good luck. Thank you.